Hi friends, we are working on the video series of 8051 microcontroller. As a part of it, today we are going to see with the definition of microcontroller and difference between microcontroller and microprocessor. Microcontroller. First we'll see with the microcontroller definition. Microcontroller can be split into two words. One is micro. Micro meaning small in size and controller which controls the operation or task of a machine or gadgets. That means microcontroller is a small controller normally used to control the machine or gadgets. We can also state microcontroller as a a single metal oxide semiconductor IC chip in which a small computer is integrated in it to control or monitor a specific application. That means a single metal oxide semiconductor integrated chip in which a small computer is integrated in it to control or monitor a specific application. Next, we are going to say with the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Before that, if you wish to get notified about our next videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or join our Telegram channel. The links are provided in the description of this video. Okay, now we'll continue with our topic. The first difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Microcontroller contains arithmetic and logic unit, which can be stated shortly as ALU. Then accumulator and working register, which helps in the operation of ALU. We have the stack pointer. Then we have program counter, interrupt circuit and clock circuits. The details of these blocks will study in the future video. Now we'll see the difference. Now, whereas microcontroller consists of circuitries of microprocessor, okay, that means we can see microcontroller has all the blocks which has been in the microprocessor. Along with that, it has built-in RAM, it has a ROM, then timers and counters, IO ports, etc. In present microcontroller like Arduino, Node MCU, Raspberry Pi Pico, okay, we can observe it contains ADC, DAC, serial communication, Wi-Fi module, etc. Okay, this is the first difference. Next, second difference, if we are going to add the access time for memory and I/O devices, that is time taken by the microprocessor and microcontroller to fetch the data from the memory and I.O devices. As we can see, microprocessor does not have inbuilt memory and I.O ports. These are connected externally. Okay. We can see that for microprocessor, we don't have inbuilt RAM or ROM or I.O ports. These are being connected externally. Whereas microcontroller has memory and I.O ports integrated in it which we can see here where the microcontroller has RAM and ROM integrated in it. So microprocessor takes more time to access memory and IO devices, whereas microcontroller takes less time to access memory and IO devices. Okay, it's like a self-explanatory, okay as externally connected RAM, ROM and I/O ports so that microprocessor takes more time and RAM and ROM are been internally connected so that microcontroller takes less time. Next, moving on with the next difference of hardware. As we have observed now, microprocessor requires memory, I/O port and other peripherals to be connected externally. Okay, 
that means ram rom io ports serial communication all those things has to be connected externally to the microprocessor so it requires more hardware and also it is bulkier in size if we consider microcontroller the required peripherals for the particular application okay if we consider any particular application for those applications all the required peripherals are been integrated in a single chip which reduces the hardware requirement and it is compact in size and it is compact in size so we can state microprocessor requires more hardware and microcontroller requires less hardware next we and see with the power consumption we have seen in the previous uh, differences that microprocessor has more hardware connected to it which in turn increases the power consumption whereas on the other hand due to compact in size and less hardware power consumption is less in microcontroller then we'll see with the next one the cost as number of hardware components in microprocessor increases it becomes costlier okay as the number of hardware components in microprocessor increases it becomes costlier whereas in microcontroller okay it is cheaper due to less hardware components due to less hardware components it is cheaper next we'll with the bit handling capacity or the bit handling instructions in microprocessor and microcontroller that is data is stored and processed in the form of digital data in microprocessor and microcontroller the data which have been stored in the ram rom okay or the arithmetic and logic operations which will be performed in the alu these are all will be performed on digital data so digital data means it will have the bits the number of instructions available for the bit handling in microprocessor is very few compared to microcontroller that means the bit handling in microprocessor is few compared to microcontroller uh, we'll see with the instruction sets of microcontroller in our future videos okay so we'll go with the basic differences in this video next we'll see with the flexibility of microprocessor and microcontroller okay microprocessor are more flexible as we have option to choose the memory io ports etc to increase it as the requirement changes so whenever the requirement changes we can change the rom ram easily okay and it can be adopted so we also call microprocessor as general purpose unit we also call microprocessor as general purpose unit whereas microcontroller are less flexible in terms of design and requirement so we call microcontroller as specific purpose unit that means microcontroller or specific purpose unit for example if you want to say microprocessor are used in the pc laptop system something like that Okay, where you will be externally connecting the hard disk, RAM. Okay, what all the peripherals has been required? You can easily connect. If you want to enhance it, you can change it. But in microcontroller, it is not the case. It is for the specific purpose. Like for example, washing machine, microwave oven, okay, camera, digital camera, something like this. Okay, where those operators are fixed for particular applications, we will not be able to change it. Okay. so microprocessors are more flexible microcontrollers are less flexible next when it comes for memory mapping okay microprocessor has a single memory map for data and program whereas microcontroller a separate memory map for data and program in microprocessor single memory map for data and program in microcontroller we have separate memory map for data and program hi guys this is the end of the first video in the next video we are going to see with the block diagram of 8051 microcontroller if you have enjoyed the learning click the like button 
share with your friends and well wishers connect with us in our social media for update and to learn more topics related to electrical and electronics thanks for watching we'll continue our journey of learning in the next video